Jenny's left for good, I'm practically running the place. Well, yeah, there'll be a new boss at the dumping ground, but I'll soon show her who's in charge. Me, Porridge Brain! Sorted. I make her take me out nearly every weekend. Crazy Beagle, what are you doing? I'm on the phone, Elaine, and it's private. You remember my friend Ben, who went to boarding school without even consulting me? That's long distance! And you're very late! I know that. If I were you, I'd take a look in the lounge. Justine! Why aren't you dressed? It's nearly lunchtime. The new head care worker will be here in. <laughs> come on, Michael, drop it. You're not meant to eat keys. I'll give you indigestion. Oh, come on, Michael. You don't want the new lady to see you being naughty now, do you? Marco. Marco, if you swallow that fear... You'll be there till Nathan fishes for it tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> oh. Why is no one ready? Jenny's replacement will be here in five minutes! By the look of things, I'm just in time. You must be Shelley. I'm Duke. I'm... OK. Later. Introductions later. Clean up now, please. You, face washed. The rest of you, go and get changed. You, the older boy, you can help the younger ones. I'm a care worker. They're a disgrace, aren't they? Here we go. I'm Tracy Beaker, the Dumping Grounds and Longest Town resident, which makes me your second in command. You heard the lady. Go. I'll show you around. Shall we? Nothing to stop me. Yeah, I can get the first flight. Ah. Oh. I'm Tracy Stuck Up Beaker. The dumping ground's longest term pain. Yeah. Jukes in charge of the kitchen. It's taken me years to train him to cook and what us kids like. I know everyone's likes and dislikes, food allergies and everything, don't I, Duke? Mm. Tracy, the place will fall apart without me. I think then the kitchen. Shh, Shh yourself. I'm going in there to tell her that Tracy B. Cruz will a cow poo. Would you rather find out what Porgy's Beaker's be telling her about us? Leila! I was going to wait until I'd settled in, but I think we need to have a staff meeting immediately. Uh, Tracy? Could you just... I'd like Tracy to stay. I'm including Tracy in a staff meeting. Oh, we're doomed. Tracy, I've been thinking about how long you've been here. It 
people had done their jobs properly, I would have been fostered years ago. What's your excuse, Elaine? I wonder if a change might be a good thing. I'm really sorry, Elaine. I'm sure you'll get another job. Maybe in a dog's home. The change isn't for Elaine, Tracy. It's for you. What? I'm worried about how settled you've become here. I think it'd be best if we moved you to another care home. Oh, Shelley, can't we just discuss this? You're chucking me out. I'm sure it's the best thing for you. No. No, you're wrong. What would you know, buddy? You just got here! You don't know anything about me! I hope you heard all that! I hope you heard me say it's very boring here! And it's time I found somewhere better! People just make decisions for care kids without even asking! I hate that! Be quiet. Dragon Lady will hear you. <clears throat> Said the good fairy. The children tiptoe past the dragon. Listening at doors isn't a very good start, is it? I'll forget it happened. This time. How else do care kids find out what's going on? I don't want Tracy Beaker to go. It will be a snack. This is important. What are you doing? I'm going to live with Cam since nobody wants me here. Well, don't you think Cam might want to say in that? No, it'll be a lovely surprise for her. Oh, I can't let you just... Oh, sounds like a broken leg at least. Don't you dare go anywhere. On. If you're checking Tracy out, then I'm going too. Tracy! Ah! Oh, I've been trying to phone you. You ladies are waste of space. I'm going to come stay with you for a bit. You're only taking our clothes to the charity shop, right? Wrong. I'm going to New York. I've been offered a place on a really great writer's course. Someone pulled out at the last minute. But I need you to stay here. This is a fantastic opportunity for me. How could you be so selfish? What? You're just like everybody else. You just pick me up and dump me whenever you feel like it. Now, that's not true. I'm so dumpable, the dumping ground doesn't even want me. <clears throat> Excuse me? Start Shelley, mutiny on your first day. Uh, who 
runs this place. They've got to eat. They can eat when they see sense and come inside. <laughs> Change is challenging for everyone, but I cannot tolerate... How could you be so stupid? You just w walk in here and, and take over. That is what I'm employed to do if it's any of your business. Everything to do with Tracy is my business. Having a garage sale with the rest of the dumping ground kids, are we? We won't let you go. If Tracy goes, we all go. Yeah. 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 You'll miss your plane to New York. You feel that strongly about this? And you? You're all willing to be grounded till Christmas over it? <clears throat> then I guess I could reconsider. Great lunch! But that doesn't mean I made the wrong decision. But I am willing to postpone it, just for now. Elaine will try harder to get me fostered, won't you, Elaine? But don't try and fob me off with hopeless vegetarians or people who read books on <coughs> childbearing. <coughs> Quit while you're ahead, kiddo. Well, haven't you got a plane to catch? I'll be in touch. <coughs> Try and stay out of trouble. Last to the table gets brown banana sandwiches. Did you listen, Ty? Hey, 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 hey. Told you I run this joint. Do remember, viewers, watching TV gives you square eyes. Not! I want to see the new earrings my dad bought me. No, thanks. They're real silver. Justine, he only buys you stuff to make up for being such a sad loser. You're just jealous, Tracy, because I've got someone who treats me. Well, actually, Cam's going to treat me to get my ears and my nose pierced and buy me some much nicer earrings than those horrible tacky things. Well, it's a bit late now. She's in America, isn't it? I always put a bit of tin foil on first. We're out of foil. But I only bought three rolls last week. Can you sit at the dining room table, please, Bradley? Jenna used to call me Bouncer. OK, Bouncer. Can you sit at the dining room table, please? Jenna used to let me eat in here. Table, please. There's only apple juice. I hate apple. And Jenny always used to... Buy orange? Oh, yeah, she did. And is there anything else that Jenny did that I'm not doing? Oh, oh yeah, Jenny's right. 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 Morning, everyone. Hello. Is everything OK, Shelley? Jenny wishes to have breakfast over by now. Shelley! Tracy's having her nose and her ears pierced! Uh, no, you're not, Tracy. But... No, and that's the end of it. Oh, is it? You can't tell me what to do. You're just a skanky care worker. Uh, yes, I can. It's in my job description. Skanky care worker with absolute power. Shut up. Marco, will you please keep still? <laughs> okay, everybody, I'd like to make a little announcement. You've decided to leave? <laughs> now, I know you all love Jenny. Yeah. yeah. And Jenny's a very special way of doing things. Yeah. But Jenny's gone, 
and I'm here now. Which is why I'd like to make a few changes. What? What, what sort of changes? We like things how they are, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're not all going to be my ideas, which is why I'd like a session with each of you this morning to talk about your ideas, things that you'd like to change. Me first. Me first. Me first. In my office, one at a time. <laughs> Dolly. A giant pink cuddly bear in the sitting room. And a big sweetie machine. <laughs> a big heated trailing pool in the garden with a wave with you. Come on, Hayley. There must be something. All my pictures. Everywhere. New dressing up clothes. An improvement in the level of privacy and respect shown to all inmates in this wonderful care home establishment. Yeah, too right. I'm the eldest. I'm entitled to a bit of space, aren't I? What's the point? It's never going to happen anyway, is it? Why won't it change anything, Shelley? Not a single thing. After all, you know best. Number 34, late to bedtimes. Number 35, no uninvited guests, meaning Tracy Beaker in my room. Number 36, Justin Littlewood removed immediately to a home for irritating brats. And most important of all, no more stupid care workers telling me why I can or cannot dance! Shelley. Can I give you a hand here? Actually, Elaine, I'll be really grateful. Not now, Hayley, love. When I said help Shelley, I actually meant in my professional capacity. As a social worker. You're doing fine, Elaine. When we finish, my office is going to look so much more homely. This one? Late again, Nathan. Just had to pop to the shops. For a packet of hair dye. Well, my roots are showing. I was going to do it when the kids were in bed. Now that you are here, would you like to do some work? Crisps, check. Cakes, cream, chocolate sponge. Triple check. Liquid refreshments. All present, correct. Shall we have a little feast now? You can't have a midnight feast at half ten in the morning. Now, not under any circumstances must Shelley get a whiff of this, OK? Yeah. Ah, that woman was spooky. The way she sniffs things out is supernatural. Shelley! What brings you down here? I've been thinking about what you said earlier. You've always been together, haven't you? Yeah, we're a good team. I know that. I just thought you might like separate rooms. I'm getting crashed to move in with Michael so you can have his room bouncer. No way. It'll do them good to share. This is my bedroom, you half-brained frog bottom! Yeah? I want to dump in his tomb. Nathan? Has Shelley bought the sweetie machine yet? Sweetie machine? I wouldn't count on it, darling. Never mind. If Shelley finds me a new mum, I won't need Blanky anymore, will I? That'd be good, wouldn't it? You'll be lucky. Shelley's too busy turning this place into a jungle. Still, at least she keeps Tracy Beaker in her place. That's where you're wrong, Justin Littlewood. If I want to go on my own, that's exactly what I'll do. Tracy, you are not going into town on your own. Knowing you'd come back with your tummy button pierced. You can't stop me doing anything I want. <laughs> hey, Tracy Big Mouth, I dare you to dye your hair. Oh, you do, do you? Or just you stand back and watch Justin Snitch Face? Any old rubbish, come and get it! Michael, leave my stuff alone! Steady on, Crash! I don't know why we've agreed to this. Don't you want to share anymore? Mm. Relax, boss. This thing gonna work anyway. Tracy, 
tries to become blonde and beautiful. Tracy, lunchtime. Um, I don't want any. What's wrong? Nothing. Tracy, let me in. Now, please. Tracy Beaker, what have you done? I'm never coming out of here. You can't stay in here for the rest of your life. I'll make sure no one laughs. Ta-da! <laughs> Tracy? No laughing at Tracy's hair. We can't help it, Shelley. She just looks so ugly. Right, that's it! What? No, 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 Tracy! Tracy! Tracy, no. go to your room now, please. But I'm starving! I said now. OK, I will, and I'll shave this off too! Tracy! What's this? Pudding. I'm starting a healthy eating policy. Oh. Uh, uh, I hate yoghurt. I'm not eating that. Have a yoghurt, Michael. Oh. That's enough now. Michael, don't get provoked. Go on, Michael. start to? No. You reminded me of something I did when I was your age. My mum wouldn't let me pluck my eyebrows, so I shaved them off with my dad's razor and ended up looking like an alien for two weeks. I'll take you to the hairdressers this afternoon. They'll put it right. Thanks, Shelley. You're welcome. I'm needed downstairs. you'd like to ask the children. your room back. Yes. Michael, you're not fooling anyone, so please stop acting the innocent with me. Justine, yoghurt will wash out. Lol, I admit I was wrong to want to split you up. You'll do it when you're good and ready. So, Bouncer, you can move back in with him. Ace! However, I shall hang on to this. Moving swiftly on, puddings are back on the menu as of tomorrow. Yes! yes. And Hayley, sweetheart, I'm going to hang your picture up here because I love it so much. Oh. Right. Now, I think that's everything. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to see a lady about some green hair. But what about my blankie? Someone's stolen it. I told you to stay in your room. Fine, if you don't want my help. Tracy. Looking for this? Thank you. Can we go to the hairdressers now? Maybe I was wrong about this ear piercing thing. When we're in town this afternoon, you can have your ears and just your ears pierced. Um, no thanks. A spike through the earlobes. Cam told me when she had hers done, it really hurt, and then one of the holes got infected and went on manky. Don't let on to Justine, but there is no way I ever, ever want them done. I see. 
Thanks, Tracy, for that little nugget of information. Shame I didn't know that earlier. But there is something I would like. After all, brown is such a boring colour. You'd be lucky, Tracy. I can make my work home.